What's the next step after retiring from acting? If teaching others how to pilot submarines wasn't your first or 15th guess, we don't blame you. You won't believe what else Taryn Noah Smith has been up to since his home improvement days. Perhaps the most surprising thing Taryn Noah Smith did when he grew up was quit acting, which he decided to do at age 16 after Home Improvement ended. He told HNGN, I'm the only cast member of Home Improvement that's kind of left the business. It's not because I didn't like it. In fact, he said it was more about him figuring out for himself what he wanted to do in life. Years after the show ended, he explained to Entertainment Weekly, It was pretty exciting to leave it behind and do other things. Now if you'd excuse me, I got a duck lean at lace. Smith's mother, Candy Bonici, explained to the Marin Independent Journal that she actually thought her son had struggled with the show ending. She said, I thought that when the whole thing was ending, he had the hardest time. The adults and the other kids had a life before the show, but his whole life as he knew it was suddenly gone overnight. They take your ID card and you can't go on the lot anymore. Quitting acting wasn't the only shocking thing Smith did as he approached adulthood. At age 17, he married a woman who was 15 years his senior. He met his then-wife, Heidi Van Pelt, at a party thrown by a former Home Improvement co-star a year before they exchanged vows. Smith told the Marin Independent Journal that his parents weren't too happy about his new romance. He said, "...they tried to push her out of my life, but that never works with a teenager in love." People reports that Smith's parents had actually tried to accept their strange romance at first by letting Van Pelt stay in their home. Yet things took a turn when Smith tried to get emancipated from them and then ran away to marry Van Pelt soon after. Smith then took his parents to court at age 17 for control over his trust fund. He wasn't allowed to touch the $1.5 million that he made from acting until he turned 18 due to Coogan's Law. Yet his parents had access to it, and he told people that they were using it to pay their own bills, including their home's mortgage. He even accused them of forcing him to continue acting so they could live off him. He said, "...I was basically supporting my entire family." Smith had hoped getting emancipated from his parents would give him and Van Pelt control of his money. However, the judge ruled in his parents' favor, and Smith continued to blast them in the press, calling his mother a shark in his interview with People, and claiming that he couldn't trust them. Ultimately, they became estranged. Benici denied that they used their son's money and suggested it was Van Pelt who was after it. She explained to the Marin Independent Journal, "...we couldn't have touched it if we wanted to. We were trying to protect it." Perhaps unsurprisingly, Smith and Van Pelt went through a messy divorce six years later. What made matters worse, though, was that his house was foreclosed on, then completely trashed. His lawyer explained to TMZ, "...you can thank his gold-digging ex-wife for the debacle he's in." ABC News reported that the couple shares a son, Nolan Eric Smith, but there isn't much information about him or their custody situation. Smith did, however, tell Marin Independent Journal that his parents were finally ready to come around to him and Van Pelt's relationship when he told them they had split. He admitted, "...at the end of that, I realized I had made a mistake." Taryn Noah Smith faced another setback at 28 years old when he was arrested for driving under the influence and drug possession in 2012. According to TMZ, police in Los Angeles found Smith in a Honda Accord that was parked in front of a fire hydrant. Officers then smelled marijuana and discovered him to be under the influence. Smith was placed under arrest and later pleaded guilty to the drug possession charge, but no contest to the DUI. Smith was placed on three years probation and had to complete two programs, one for the DUI and another focused on deterring drug use. Smith, however, has claimed in past interviews that he didn't actually fall into drugs like many other child stars did. During a joint interview he did with Zachary Bryan for Access Hollywood, he said, "...we got really lucky that, well, first of all, we're still here and we didn't have to deal with too much, uh, any, you know, any crazy drug problems or anything like that." Keep in mind, Smith was only in possession of marijuana, which is now legal in many states. However, he was once accused of a far more serious narcotic crime in 2019, when witnesses thought he was smuggling drugs into the U.S. through a submarine he was piloting. He explained to KSBW Action News 8, "...no, we're not smuggling drugs, we're not uh, attacking the U.S., we're all just uh, Californians here uh, having a good time." Yep, you heard that right. Turns out, Smith had taken a job teaching people how to pilot submarines for a training company. He told KSBW Action News 8, "...we want to be able to uh, help people experience what the, the true beauty and wonder that is under the ocean at all times." 
The actor grew up living on a boat, which is probably why, as an adult, he seemed to be drawn to maritime work. In addition to teaching people how to pilot submarines, he also captained a charter sailboat. Before that, he worked with water in a different way as an engineer, teaming up with his father to build environmentally friendly water purifiers that were then used by the military. He discussed that and other similar projects with Access Hollywood in 2018, saying, I've been working on a couple different engineering teams building machines that make water, recently one that pulls water out of the air. Smith has always made it a point to give back after he found success as a child star. According to the Hallmark Channel, the actor has been involved in various charities throughout his career, including the National MS Society and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. He's also done events for Sail with the Stars, as well as the MS Readathon, and a coat drive for Kids R Us, to name just a few. Smith's mother Candy gave advice on how parents of celebrity children should approach doing charity work on the Cooper Talk podcast, since she had done so much with her son. She explained, Make sure what they're asking your child to do is something that they can do, because sometimes we ran into a couple situations like that. She then gave the example of a skiing event for the Special Olympics, which turned out to be way too challenging for Smith. As an adult, Smith continued to do community service and even spent six months in Asia doing disaster relief work. He told HNGN, We went into the Philippines after the most massive typhoon on record hit in late 2013, and we helped set up a resource center based around a maker space. Despite all the trouble Smith had with his parents during his late teen years, they were able to put those problems behind them once he became an adult. As previously mentioned, Smith had sued his mother and father in 2001 for access to his trust fund at age 17. While things got pretty ugly in the press, Smith later downplayed it to HNGN, saying, "...there was definitely some teenage angst-driven strife between us, but it's common between parents and children." He went on to blame the media for painting it worse than it was, and pointed out how they've been a happy family for a while. Smith's mother Candy reiterated that other people were involved in their estrangement, including entertainment TV hosts John Tesh and Lisa Gibbons. She blasted them in her book, Stardom Happens, Nurturing Your Child in the Entertainment Business, for creating a nightmare situation by asking Smith and other child actors questions about their contracts. Benici also seemingly blamed Smith's ex-wife Heidi by suggesting that she preyed on him. She wrote, "...thankfully, it's all over now, and an older and much wiser Taryn is happily reunited with our family again." Smith also told the Marin Independent Journal that he had realized with age that his parents weren't trying to harm him, but instead were keeping his money safe. He said, I apologized to them, and they were very forgiving and apologized too. Smith's adult life might not currently include acting, but that doesn't mean that he's ruled out the possibility of ever returning to the screen. We're talking about a home improvement reboot or a reunion, specifically, since Smith said on the Cooper Talk podcast that he really misses the people he used to work with on that show. He explained, I just really enjoyed that process of making something we were proud of and making it with that large group of people. Smith was lucky enough to reconnect with some of his former Home Improvement cast members in 2011 for a photo shoot for Entertainment Weekly. He seemed to have enjoyed it quite a bit, comparing it to a high school reunion. As previously mentioned, he appeared on Access Hollywood in 2019 with his former co-star Zachary Ty Bryan, where they happily reminisced about their time on the TV series together playing on-screen brothers. Additionally, the show's star Tim Allen has claimed he's interested in a home improvement reboot, saying in 2022 that it should be centered around his character's sons on the show. Hey! Hey! hey. Allen told E, "...what I'd love to see is those boys grown up, what they're doing grown up. I think that'd be an amazing piece of television." While Smith is probably still best known to the public as the little kid from Home Improvement, it's clear he's all grown up now and became quite an accomplished adult. 